Good evening, I'm Aline, and here are today's top stories. In a dramatic turn of events, former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has made explosive allegations against Russian President Vladimir Putin. Johnson asserted that Putin must have killed Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of the Wagner private military group, who recently died in a plane crash. Johnson also declared that there can be no peace negotiation with Putin regarding the ongoing situation in Ukraine. Writing in an op-ed for the Daily Mail, Johnson delved into the speculation surrounding Prigozhin's demise. The Wagner boss was aboard a plane that crashed in a field near Moscow, and though the cause of the crash remains uncertain, U.S. and Western intelligence officials, as reported by CNN, believe it was a deliberate act. Describing the moment of the crash, Johnson vividly depicted Prigozhin's realization of the impending disaster. Johnson wrote, it can't have been more than a few seconds between the explosion aboard the otherwise reliable Embraer Legacy 600 executive jet and the moment the Russian thug blacked out in his vertiginous acceleration to Earth. And yet in that instant, I am certain that he knew with perfect clarity what had happened. Johnson went on to insinuate that the orchestrator behind Prigozhin's demise was the same individual linked to high-profile poisonings in the UK, such as Alexander Litvinenko and Sergei Skripal. He painted a dramatic picture of Prigozhin's final moments, suggesting that his last thought might have been directed towards Putin himself. This shocking incident comes just two months after Prigozhin led a short-lived rebellion in Russia, raising questions about the future of the Wagner Group without its enigmatic leader. While investigations into the crash are ongoing, the Kremlin has vehemently denied any involvement and asserted that all necessary examinations, including genetic testing, are being conducted to ascertain the cause of Prigozhin's death. In response to Johnson's allegations, Putin acknowledged his long-standing acquaintance with Prigozhin, but emphasized his talents as a businessman. Johnson, however, labeled Putin's response as the height of conceit, implying that Prigozhin's actions challenged Putin's authority. In a chilling analysis, Johnson characterized the plane crash as a historic event, likening it to a violent liquidation of Putin's adversaries carried out on live television. He accused Putin of shedding his facade, presenting him as a ruthless figure comparable to a gangster straight out of a crime novel. As tensions continue to escalate on the international stage, this revelation sheds new light on the complex relationship between world leaders and the lengths to which they might go to exert their influence. That's it for our top story tonight. We will continue to follow this developing story closely.